Hi, this is Kate Berkner with Urban Fitness Twin Cities, and I'm here today with my husband, Dan, who is here to help me show you a scapular mobilization exercise called pinwheels. So I'm going to have you lay on your side with your arms out in front of your shoulders to start. Knees can be bent wherever they're comfortable. There's a couple of really tricky parts to this one, but when you do it right, it feels really good. So the trickiest part is that you're not moving your arm. Your arm is along for the ride. You want to move from your shoulder blade. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by just sliding that arm forward by pushing that shoulder blade forward. And then you're going to pull that shoulder blade up towards your ear. This is the only time I ever get let my clients get their shoulder up by their ear. And then the next thing that happens is that shoulder blade pulls back and then down. And then that shoulder blade continues to pull down and that arm just follows along. So think about your arm as being dead weight. And then that shoulder blade pulls down and forward and then around and forward to the front. So you do it top to and around and then you reverse. So let's do one going down and I'll have you flip over. So that shoulder blade goes down and then it goes down and back and then it goes more back and then it goes back and up. And then again with that arm staying behind, that shoulder blade goes up and then goes up and forward and around. Yep, good. Flip over, we'll show the other side so they can see what your scapula are doing. So that was so you could see where the arm does. And it's just really like dead weight, so it might bend, it might just fall, but whatever is comfortable with that arm. And the other really tricky part is making sure that your hips and rib cage doesn't move. You want to keep them nice and stable so you're not moving from your ribs and your hips. It's all from your shoulder blade right back here. So the first thing you're going to do is push forward and then that shoulder blade goes up. It's almost like a hand moving along the clock. You want to feel as if you're touching each number with your shoulder blade. And then from here, this is where we really want to lead our, with our arm. But you're going to start by pulling your shoulder down, shoulder blade, and then down and forward. And then that arm just acts like dead weight as that shoulder blade pushes forward and through. Yep, go ahead and do one more of that direction. So go up and around and then pull that shoulder blade down, 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 down. Yes, and then it comes down and forward, and then you reverse. And you can do anywhere from four to six. Make sure that shoulder blade comes down before your arm moves, so your arm is just heavy. Relax your arm almost. There you go, that's better. But you can do four, six, eight, whatever feels good. Just make sure that you do it both directions and do equal numbers both directions. And this is really great because it doesn't just move your shoulder blade front to back, but it really gets it to move in all possible directions. So you're really moving that whole shoulder joint. Very nice. That's it for this one. It can be very tricky to feel that shoulder blade moving, so give it some practice because it might not come the first time. You might just have to really slow down and really think about what that shoulder is doing. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching, and whatever you do, don't forget to hold your abs.